Hey guys. Hey guys, I am in Denmark, as I told you before. I'm actually at the uh, warehouse uh, getting ready to build John's new kit for Europe. Um, I finished, let me show you, kind of finished one of the drums. This is 10 inch. And as you can see underneath, there's a, the um, blue uh, kit from the Outlaw Gentleman Shady Ladies Tour. Um, it's the same shells that he, not the same shells that he used, but the same painted shells. Pearl sent us another set that um, we could recover and make for the Seal the Deal album. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. As you can see, I have uh, empty shells here and bags of hardware. And I just started this drum. So I kind of wanted to show you a little bit of the process. Uh, first things first is to put on the wraps, um, but first you got to remove the breather holes, remove all the uh, badges, things like that, and then put the wrap on, clamp it down, stick it to itself, and now I have to cut all the holes. So what I'll do is I'll go in with an X-Acto knife and I'll poke through all these holes and cut them out and then put the hardware on. Um, before I do that, I have to think about position. So, uh, you know, this is his 13 inch tom, so it's gonna sit in front of the kit and the audience will see, we want the audience to see the image. So I have to picture it uh, sitting in the kit and well, before I start cutting the holes, make sure it's in the right position. I also have to think about where the mount is and where the holes are going to be in the hardware as not to totally block out what you're seeing in the image. Because if you can look at this too, this has kind of a blank spot right here. I don't know if you can see that, but blank spot here. And then as you spin the shell, there's an image there. And then there's a little space here, but not much. So the biggest space is an image here. So the biggest space is here. So that's also where the seam is. So I kind of want to have the seam un, unseen so I think about that and then I think about where the mic input's going to go and I think about is it going to be in his eyeball or is it going to be you know in his face on his nose I try not to do that if I can help it um, but what's great about these wraps from Bum Wrap Drum Company is they spin on the shell so I can move this without like right now I'm not moving the drum, I'm moving the wrap. So they spin on the on the shell after you adhere them to themselves. And that way you can position it before you start cutting your holes. So that's that's beauty that's the beauty of it. The other thing about it is let's say, well like for the next tour that they do, they're gonna do a new record. So they'll probably do new artwork and instead of Pearl painting, you know, a new drum set, um, bum wrap and make new drum new drum wraps, I could take this drum apart and basically slide this wrap right off the shell and uh, put a new one on. Or you can just go back to the old paint job because it doesn't harm the paint either. So that's the, that's the beauty of these wraps. So anyway, um, this drum is next. Um, and then I have, I think, seven more to do. So I better get going. I better, I only have a day and a half to do this. So I, I need to get moving. Thanks for watching, and I'll check in later and show you my progress. Bye.